So we now land in San Diego, where early this morning, police disbanded an encampment at UCSD. 64 people have now been arrested, arrested rather, amid those protests. Carter Castillo is the news editor at the UCSD Guardian. He's been reporting and overseeing coverage on his campus. So, Carter, police have now cleared out the pro-Palestinian encampments on campus. So where do the protests stand at this hour? So just right now, um, the protesters are currently trying to organize to go to the jails. Um, after the encampment was dispersed by police, many of the students were taken into the Price Center, which is the student union, at which point many fellow protesters surrounded the different uh, exits to prevent police from uh, taking the people into the county buses that were parked in front of the student center. Um, it seems that now the goal of the protest is to organize in front of the jails to prevent the people from actually being detained. So are we talking, so I grew up in San Diego. Are they, where were they taken mm -hmm. to, the county jail? So our reports say they're taken to, the women have been taken to Oscalinas and that the men have been taken to the downtown central jail. Okay, got it. So now students are moving protests to both of those jails and plan on protesting outside of those of those uh, buildings? That seems to be what's happening. This is literally just four minutes ago, um, what my fellow reporters are telling me. So the situation is actively ongoing. All right, got it. So if you see more information kind of come through via email, by all means, jump in and tell me. We're looking at pictures uh, from our ABC affiliate KGTV there in San Diego um, of, of uh, it looks like the, the police in riot gear uh, dealing with some more of those protesters. As we, f as we follow these pictures on Friday, that Muslim student um, that we were reading about was threatened with rape. You got access to the video. Did the administration take that seriously and respond? Tell us what happened with that situation. Yeah, we haven't been able to really get into contact with the administration whatsoever. I know I've contacted them over several different issues, um, and it's been pretty much radio silence other than the press releases that they're able to send out. So I can't really comment because the university hasn't been responsive whatsoever. All right, so as the school year comes to an end, because we're almost there, will these protests on campus end? Clearly, you've got students headed over to the jails. What, what do you think is going to happen on campus? What are students telling you? Well, students are very um, upset at the way that this has been handled by administration. Um, I've talked with a lot of them. Um, the Sun God Festival, which is one of the biggest celebrations that UCSD puts on every year, was canceled um, just a few days ago, and it was supposed to happen this Saturday um, or the past Saturday. Um, so students have been pretty um, upset. I think the entire campus right now is remote. All services are shut down. So I think in the meantime, things are very tense, and I think a lot of students are just very worried about what's to come. So I grew up there in San Diego, as I mentioned, and, you know, our schools have never really been a hotbed for protest. So, you know, as as we look at this this movement, um, what does that tell you about not only the overall protest, but the fact that it's coming to a place like San Diego, where I don't know if you grew up there or not, but, you know, it's kind of a chill place. <laughs> Yeah, I think it really speaks to sort of the anger that a lot of students have with the current um, policies of the United States government and what's going on uh, in Gaza right now. I think that's just undeniable that a lot of students feel that way. Um, what I will say, though, too, is um, Students for Justice in Palestine, UCSD, actually has been saying a lot that this protest is very much in line with UCSD's history of activism in uh during the Vietnam War, um, during the Iraq War, that there were a lot of student protests as well. So they would certainly say that this is not as groundbreaking, but it definitely members of the community, I think, um, in La Jolla especially, may feel this is a uh, more challenging to the status quo. Well, we'll be following our ABC station there, KGTV, to see if we can get any pictures and coverage if those students indeed continue to gather around the two jails. Keep us updated on that, Carter. We'd appreciate it. Carter Castillo, thank you.